this is the dark side of Nigeria's multi-billion dollar oil industry. In the country's oil producing Niger Delta region, there is serious air pollution from illegal refineries like this one, where local people process stolen crude oil. Gas flow is operated mainly by Western multinational oil companies likewise pollute in the atmosphere. Many million tons of methane and carbon dioxide pollute the Niger Delta on a daily basis. This has a huge impl implication for the environment because methane and carbon dioxide are the two main greenhouse gases that cause climate change. Other activities like the use of firewood for cooking also gave out greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide which consequently increase climate change. The uncontrolled felling of trees for cooking and for other purposes results in the loss of vital forests which are supposed to absorb carbon dioxide. Firewood and charcoal made from wood are widely used for cooking in Nigeria because many people cannot afford the cost of cooking gas. Kerosene, which is supposed to be the alternative to cooking gas, is not readily available. Most times, consumers with jerry cans queue for hours to purchase kerosene. Even then, the product is often sold well above the government-controlled pump price. Adverse weather conditions resulting from climate change have seriously affected Nigeria. For example, Nigeria is losing its coastlines due to rising sea levels. Scientists say ocean levels are rising because increasing temperature is causing ice caps in polar regions to melt. Okuafa community in Lagos, where the rising ocean has washed away houses and damaged many others still standing, is a good example of how climate change is impacted on Nigeria. This is a portion where we have our whole central mosque before. The first central mosque we have in this our community. This is the portion we have it before. Due to addition, so it has cut it away, it has broke the entire building and it took everything away. As a country whose citizens are on the receiving end of climate change, Nigeria cannot afford to sit back in the fight against the environmental menace. Initiatives to reduce Nigeria's emission of greenhouse gases include the one being carried out by some non-governmental organizations which are encouraging the use of energy, efficient wood stoves as an eco-friendly alternative to firewood. Energy efficient stoves are built to conserve heat and use very small quantities of dry wood which make them emit far less carbon dioxide than firewood. Some passionate members of Nigeria's National Assembly are pushing for the enactment of climate change laws as part of moves to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases in the country. Place before the National Assembly a climate change bill, which is comprehensive, includes the setting up of a committee, it also includes the issues of um, trying to ensure that we begin to measure and know the quantity of carbon that we emit within the country. That way, we now begin to set targets and timelines on reduction of emission of these carbons. But Nigeria is notorious for making laws that are never implemented. What can the country's legislators do if a climate change law is passed and never implemented? So where these laws are not implemented or obeyed by virtue of the power of oversight as enshrined in section 86 to 88 of the constitution, the legislator can summon the relevant authorities to find out why these laws are not implemented. We also have the powers to order for investigation or arrest and in fact prosecution of offenders where we find that these laws are not being carried out. If we make laws, it should be part of our responsibility to ensure that the laws we make are not disobeyed. There appears a lesson here for legislators, especially those pushing for climate change laws. A law is only complete when efforts are made to implement it.